All right, team, good morning. It's August 5th. We're out here on the mid short, well, not mid short, in short grounds, about 15 miles out. Today we're looking for Spanish mackerel, king mackerel, true bonito, and maybe a mahi. Special day again, guys. I got my brother in law, Brian. Say hi to the world, Brian. My nephew, Nicholas. My dad, Joe. See, I'm gonna get up top, see if I can uh, find some life. Part of the spread on the outriggers, I'm just gonna put small little daisy chains. Yeah, I'm gonna run daisy chains off the riggers. All right, so first again, a little bird, little green daisy chain. All right, so that's gonna be the first one there. A little daisy chain action. All right, second one over here. Tiny little blue daisy chain. Tormentor bird. So I just have a little mini islander. I got all that stuff. You can see that little tormentor bird. So now I'll match that one up with the other side. Beautiful morning. Grab that other spoon. See that little spoon? And then guys, it's the number three Clark spoon behind a six ounce egg sinker. We'll run them in tight. That stays in fairly close. So Brian's gonna do the same thing over there, but with a slightly bigger Clark spoon, a number four. And uh, we'll see guys. All right guys, so they have a man stretch 20. Haywire twist, haywire twist to a barrel. This is gonna run down a little bit in the water column. Throw that out as well. And then this is a little, so this is an X-Wrap 10. Again, haywire, haywire to a barrel. This one will run about 10 feet down. That's it guys, pretty simple inshore trolling spread for king mackerel, Spanish mackerel, bonito. We'll see if we can't find some life here. All right team, so again, just to go over the spread real quick. Off the port side, long, I have that daisy chain, which you can see running right out there. In the mid, let's have a little spinning rod there, that's what that uh, X wrap 10 and then right off the flat line. I have one of those Clark spoons Now on the starboard side. I have that basically identical so off the long We have that Other daisy chain that blue one you can see it there off the mid I have that Stretch 20 and then off the flat. I have that Clark spoon So we'll see we're just coming up on the high piece of the structure now Hopefully I'll show you guys some, some king mackerel or Spanish mackerel or bonito. We'll see. All right, guys, we're hooked up. Let's see what we got. Could be a mixed bag here. Looks like a little bonita. Yeah, Atlantic bonita, baby. Great eating. Great eating. Atlantic bonita right there. Good job, Nick. Hey. So Nick, grab him by his tail. Don't grab his mouth because he's got nasty teeth. There you go, and then spin them up towards me. All right, guys, so that's an Atlantic Bonita right there. Look how pretty that is. That is excellent sashimi. Really good. That's a little what they call Atlantic Speedster right there. All right, All right guys, we're on again. Let's see what we got. Oh, that's a little Spanish. A little Spanish mackerel. Oh, killing on me. All right, so Spanish mackerel. Just pulled the hook right as we were getting him in the boat. That's pretty cool though. All right guys, we're on again. Let's see what we got. Looks like a little, another little Spanish, yeah, little baby. Yeah, a little Spanish. 
Spanish. You guys are killing me. All right, team, so another little Spanish mackerel. Uh, the guys are having a little trouble getting them in the boat now. <laughs> That's okay. What is it? Yeah, it's a king. Don't lose him, Dad. King oh, that's a nice one. Alright guys, so that's a New Jersey King Mackerel right there. So you hit that that uh stretch 20. Very cool. Oh god, don't lose them. Alright guys, New Jersey King Mackerel. Alright, Bryce, so same thing. He's already bleeding pretty good, but cut him right under the gills. We're gonna smoke him later. Alright team. Well there's one, there's more, so let's see. We're gonna try to find some bigger ones. He didn't really even fight on that big rod, did he? No, hardly at all. Yeah, we gotta get him to hit those smaller ones. He will. Boy, Nick. Nicky. Super pumped. Let's see what we got here, guys. He's big. I'll stick again. I think for the most part, that's on that swimming plug, so they won't come off. I think he's in that one. All right, come on over here, Nicky. Oh, yeah, he's fighting. Oh, he popped off. Oh, no. Damn. Yeah, we're we're on him now. This might be a little Spanish, I think. Next. Ah, little, yeah, it's a nice Spanish. Nice size Spanish mackerel. All right. All right, we're finding actually a big one, Nick. All right, guys, that's a Spanish. Okay, put that back in a rod holder. Okay, go get near Poppy. Guys, look at this thing. That's a, that's a big Spanish mackerel, believe it or not. <laughs> Nick, look at this. See how pretty his little specks are? Yeah. Yeah, pick him up. Here. He's got it. Hold on. Hold tight. There you go, Nicky. Look at that, guys. Spanish mackerel. All right, we'll bleed him out. Oh, here we go. We're on, baby. Yeah, we're on him now, guys. Slippery. Another one on. I'm gonna let him go. I would let this one go or not. Yeah. Oh, that's a decent size, actually. Trying to get the rides out, they keep getting hit. All right, guys, we're in pretty good now. Spanish number three. Got another Benita, another Spanish. Again, nothing huge, but we're bending rods, having a good time. Right, we're gonna get that stretch 20 again. Yeah. All right, guys, pretty cool. So I pushed off the lump a little bit, a little bit deeper water, <clears throat> and I'm actually marking fish now right off the bottom, and uh, we're in on pretty good. So, again, nothing huge. You know, you can come out here, it's a quick run. And uh, you know, get the younger folks into something uh, 
It's gonna pull some rods, you know? It's super fun. Ryan's cutting the gills and bleeding them out. And that'll add real good, keep it real good quality. Stay tight, bud. All right, guys, just like that, we're on again. We're in good. I am. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah. All right, Nicky. Dude, team, we can't even get the lines out. It's pretty cool. Good job, bud. He wailed it, dude. So guys, they're hitting anything. They haven't touched. Well, I shouldn't say they're not. They're hitting anything. They haven't touched our uh, our daisy chain. They're really just hitting the spoons and the and the swimming plug. Oh, little baby king. Woohoo! Alright, team, so it's 20 after 8 right now. Out of nowhere, within the last 30 minutes, this north wind just kicked up. Um, forecast is light and variable. We flew out here in flat calm seas. Um, sometimes this happens as the, as the sun starts popping up. Um, really frustrating, though. It's actually kind of snotty out here. plug guys that thing's all messed up that's awesome oh yeah really cool bleed them out real good up the quality of the meat oh yeah blood everywhere oh look at that check that out that's why they're here look at that guys sand eels that's why they're here guys all right team so it's 8 30 we fished for about an hour and a half uh my nephew's a little Mal Damar, we call it. So we're gonna get out of here in an hour and a half. We uh, put together a nice little catch. Uh, it stinks, you know. The ocean just kicked up and isn't cooperating. Uh, but that's a pretty fun morning. Um, I'm about 30 miles from my inlet, but the closest inlet, I'm probably only about 12 miles off the beach. So even if you have a small boat, you can come out here and do this. Really cool, really neat way to spend the morning, and you get a mixed bag of fish. So very cool. As always, guys, hit that like button, subscribe. Tons more videos, man. We've been fishing and killing it every day. I think it's all in your head. And once you start thinking about it, you're done. All right, so this is one of the Spanish. Big one. Too. All right, guys, this is a real nice size Spanish mackerel. Let's see. He is 22 and a half fork length. That's a nice fish. All right, Nick, yeah. bag me up, yo. How do you know that? 24, whatever. <laughs> right inside, there's tons of them. But all the, with the remains of this will be good shark bait for Wednesday. Oh, yeah, I didn't even think about that, bud. Yeah. Look at that white meat. Look at that. See that? Wait, you see the bonita. Got a little yellow. This is the Spanish mackerel. Look at that nice fillet, guys, from that Spanish. Not too yellow bad. So, guys, that king mackerel comes out pretty nice when you bleed it. Check out their teeth, too. Look at those teeth. Ooh, look at those teeth. That's why I was running some wire leader. Nick, yeah, come here. Look at those teeth, guys. Oh wow! Jesus. Oh, Mess you up. Yeah, that's right. So down in Florida, they get real big. And and last year when Dad and I got them into them one day, it was fun. We started off the day catching them like this. As the day progressed, as the morning progressed, they got bigger and bigger. Remember that, Dad? Yeah. And then they kept breaking us off the bigger ones. Same bag. Same. You bag? Yeah. This one I'm gonna keep for myself. I'm smoking that one. <laughs> That's for you. Captain always takes his own little stash. We, we got enough of it there and we still have all that swordfish. Yeah, super pumped. Look at these. That's a true Atlantic Bonita. Look how pretty. This dude's got some teeth too. Look at his teeth. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Mess you up. Uh, he's a real funnel light tackle. 
So what would be really neat is if those fish stay there, you could anchor up and chum with spearing and get them right behind the boat and get them on super light tackle. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Real light wire hooks. Do it that. Now guys. All right, team. So this is going to be the king that I'm going to go ahead and smoke tonight. It's my first attempt at it. Again, look at her teeth. Pretty cool. Should I use this bag for this? No, separate bag. All right, guys. So welcome back to my home. Today I'm going to try my first attempt at smoked king mackerel. So I went online, just looked up a couple recipes. Totally new to this, so we'll see. Um, I only kept a couple fillets from one of those king mackerel, so I kind of uh, just lessened the quantity on the recipe that I looked up. So we're going to go with two tablespoons of uh, Morton salt, we're going to go with a cup of brown sugar, and uh, just a cup and a half of water. That's really about it. We're going to mix up these ingredients, get everything all dissolved, um, and then we're going to go ahead and put the king mackerel fillets in there and brine it for about an hour, and then we're going to throw it on the smoker, so we'll see. Again, two tablespoons salt. Cup of brown sugar, and a cup and a half of filtered water. Then we're gonna go ahead and mix that around. Mm -hmm. you've seen before. And we stir. All right, guys, so here's the bag of King Mackerel Filets. So I'm just going to go ahead and rinse them off real quick and pop them into brine. And uh, again, give it about an hour and we'll see. So give these bad boys a nice good rinse. A little bit more. Put them in the brine. Oh, wow, I kept a good amount. <laughs> Hopefully that is enough. I might have to add a little water, actually. That's enough. So now we have the king mackerel sitting in our brine. So we'll let that kind of hang out and get nice and happy, happy, happy for the next hour. And then I'll go from there. All right, team. So this is my Green Mountain Grill. This was a special present from Captain Zach. Thank you so much, Zachy. This is the Daniel Boone model. Guys, I, I had to get a pellet grill. You know, living right here on the water, it's really, really hard to have a wood smoker. Um, it's actually near impossible. Uh, I had one and it's just so windy you can't maintain temperatures at all. So um, this thing's awesome. Um, so what you gotta first do is always check. Yeah, we need more pellets. So I got cherry pellets. They said with the fish, you wanna use a non-nutty wood. So we'll try cherry. Add that in the pellet container there. And all you gotta do is turn her on. And it goes through a quick little warm up process after it's warmed up. We'll go ahead and set it to 170 degrees. And once you get it set, you can just walk away. It's pretty neat. Set it right at 170. So, back at the smoker, we're at 170. I got my king mackerel that has been brining. That on the smoker. Wow. Already smells delicious. Alright guys, so I think we got about four hours or so. I'll check back with you periodically. And in the meantime, we got bonito, sashimi with jalapeno and fresh avocado. And then I have some wahoo from the other day that I'm going to go ahead and put on the grill. And I also have some swordfish that I'm going to grill up as well. And I'm going to do that in a lemon pepper. Um, so, man, life at the beach is, is rough here, guys. So, uh, hopefully, I should have started this smoking recipe a little bit earlier. Uh, I got to get to bed. I'm leaving the dock uh, tonight at 2 a.m., uh, we're going to go yellowfin fishing at first light, do some mahi tile, and then sword fishing. So 
Um, hopefully this doesn't take too long because I gotta get some sleep. All right guys, so while we're waiting for our brine to work on the King Mackerel, here is the Bonita. And I'm gonna go ahead and slice this up real thin for some sashimi. So this is very much similar to the way we do it for, for tuna. You just wanna get in there and super, super thin cuts. So we're actually gonna do this sashimi like you get in a restaurant. We're gonna put it on a little bit of rice. You can see how it looks delicious, huh guys? So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep cutting this paper thin. Yeah, so that's the raw product right there. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up the accessories, get the rice cooker going. And then we are gonna have some fresh bonita sashimi. Quick shout out to Captain Darren Doris. And I believe his name was Bill Donovan. These guys had an awesome show. It's called New Jersey Angler Video Magazine. Uh, back in, I want to say the late 90s, early 2000s. Uh, I was in college and um, I just loved their show, man. It was so cool. It was all about New Jersey fishing. And uh, the very first time I heard about Benita Sushi and Sashimi was from those guys. They were fishing the Barnegat Ridge. Um, really neat show. Uh, I'm kind of bummed it, it went off the air a long, long time ago, but shout out to those guys. Thanks for the idea, guys. All right, guys, so the Bonita sashimi is prepared. On the left here, we have a little bit of jalapeno, uh, and then we have combined jalapeno and avocado, and then just avocado. And then over here, we have uh, the Bonita itself with jalapeno and just a little bit of sriracha on top. Light soy sauce. Uh, we'll put a little bit of the uh, wasabi in here. All right, let me try one of these spicier ones here. Let's see. This one has the jalapeno and the sriracha. Oh, dude. That's delicious. Here's a little bit of bonita with nothing on it. Hun, that's really good. You got damn. Mm -hmm. That's good stuff, guys. Bonita sashimi, baby. Can't go wrong. It's awesome. All right, guys. So this is at just about the one hour mark. Let's see how we're looking. Oh, yeah. Looking good, guys. Beautiful evening, guys. Absolutely beautiful out here. Nice calm lagoon. That's pretty rare. Hour two on the smoke. Holding tight at 170. Ooh. That's looking pretty good, guys. That's looking real good. So we'll see. I, the recipe calls for three hours, but I think because these are smaller fillets, I think we can get away with probably two and a half. I don't know. We'll see. All right, everybody. So this is hour three. I bumped the temp up a little bit. Oh, yeah. I think we are done, guys. That texture is looking pretty good. Oh, maybe a little longer. I don't know. They say you want it to be firm, but not slimy. I can actually also... Uh, it's going to be really hot, probably. I can also put this in there and see what our fish temperature is. Let's see. Dude, super pumped. That looks delicious. Shout out to the camera lighting by yours truly. Nicholas Barna, my nephew, and my niece Madeline is here for the feast. Support. Hello. Support. All right, team. So this is my first attempt at smoked fish. This is king mackerel that Nikki and I caught earlier today. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. It smelled a little fishy. We'll give it a shot. Let's see. Yeah, you can try that. I'm just going to use my uh, use my meat paws here. I feel like we needed to uh, marinate it a little longer. Hey, what's that? Oh, I've come. It is? It's good, it's really dry. It was actually really dry. So now I know why they say that- This, this, this is like turning to like Food Network. Yeah. Now I know why they say smoked kingfish, smoked fish dip. It's so dry. It's really good. You can taste the smoke flavor. You can taste the sugar, but it's really dry. So I can see how you would want to add a little mayo, a little onion. But don't get me wrong. It's really good. I thought that was going to be an epic fail, but it's pretty good. The niece and nephew are heavy into it. 
I thought I thought it was a little dry, but apparently they said they were stuffed. But man, they're getting into the smoked king mackerel. You good, Maddie? It's got a neat flavor, right? Yeah, Nikki, what do you think, bud? The outside tastes like bacon. Like bacon. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's got a pretty neat. Um, mm -hmm. It's got a pretty neat little texture to it. I think. Yeah, I'm pumped. All right, team. So I think the smoked king mackerel was a hit. Um, a little dry in my opinion, but the kids loved it. It's 8:40. I gotta go to bed. I'm leaving the dock in uh, five hours. Five hours. So I gotta get some sleep. I'm getting old. So we'll see you guys out on the water. Adios. Say goodbye, guys. Super pumped.